Well, good day. How is everyone this fine Tuesday? Um, I don't even know what day it is. The 24th, September 24th, 2024. All right, a lot of 24s. Hello, CJ, NCW, and Denise, and uh, Sister Jeannie, um, and uh, Greg, Andrew, Lucy, um, Peter, and many, many, many more all new subscribers. Welcome. Hello. I am back, <laughs> back in the fall season of New Hampshire. And um, I must say, I do like it here better <laughs> than September in Florida. Um, but uh, our plane trip back was much uh, less eventful. Uh, very smooth uh, landing, and uh, kudos to the captain there for bringing that in. And um, uh, so it was, it was good. I'm glad to, glad to be home, slept well, and uh, able to uh, see how my, my um, children took care of my, their brother. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. He survived there. Their, uh, their endeavors. All right, um, we're going to begin the, the final chapter in uh, St. Catherine of Siena's um, treatise and uh, from, from Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, God the Father who was, is, and ever shall be. And uh, this final one is uh, shorter, uh, but it is on obedience, and it is very important. And... Um, we have to listen closely to the hows and whys of obedience. Um, I am a particular of a particular nature um, who questions obedience. Okay, so this is going to be probably a good one for me. Um, and hopefully there's a section in there about false obedience, because that is also uh, important to make sure that we aren't falsely obedient. And uh, like I said, we'll discover that as we go, because I don't know what uh, will be said uh, in regards to that. Uh, again, thank you for your donations. I, I got one last night that I, I don't know yet who it's from, <laughs> just Kofi said that I received a donation, um, and I appreciate that because um, uh, inflation, as you all know, is um, uh, skyrocketing. I was just told yesterday that um, hotel rooms are, like their prices have doubled or some in some cases tripled, and that makes it really hard for travelers. Um, and um, I, I know I... I kind of skipped out on the straw man on Friday because I wasn't really prepared. But um, uh, on the way back yesterday, there's another process um, where you use 1099online.com to discharge your debt as a sovereign. And it appears that the IRS has accepted that form that I sent in um, about a week and a half ago. Uh, to discharge um, a credit card debt. So um, again, I'm doing these things one at a time to see how it goes and so that I understand it well. Um, and if that is the case, then um, I will again share that with you. Um, it's a little bit hard, to, again, to grasp the concept that we, and I say we because of the name, but um, we're both creditor as the, the human being, the living soul, breathing soul that has given up certain things back in 1933, even though you may not have been alive then, you still, they still keep that system going. So you have still, in essence, given that up which was the ability to pay um, debt. And by doing so, they created this straw man or uh, 
all capitalized name entity which has the same name as you who is the debtor so you have the creditor and the debtor with similar names almost identical but capitalized not capitalized and you as the creditor can offset or discharge the debts of the debtor which we didn't know about because they didn't want us to know about that they wanted us to to uh, do both they wanted us to be slaves and they succeeded for many years and now it's uh coming around uh through through um, courageous people and i do believe that it absolutely is um caused by the information that um, Mr. Nobody had discovered and shared in the website or on the website, ourladyisgod.com. So, all right, enough of me chittering and chattering this morning. Let's get to the um, good, good day prayers and to um, the Treatise on Obedience. In nomine Dei Amatronam Nostra, et Deum Iesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. And I apologize for Mass yesterday. I just, I couldn't get to it. We um, got up at 4 a.m. and I got back here uh, last night um, about 7 or 8. And by the time I unpacked, I passed out and didn't wake up until this morning. So... Let us place ourselves in the presence of the Trinitarian Theophany and in Catholic contemplation, humbly venerate the Divine Family. And again, if anybody has the slightest inkling of becoming a priest, please contact me so that we can yet at least these public masses covered. Most Holy and Venerable Trinitarian Theophany, one divine family, I believe that thou art here present. I venerate thee with the deepest humility. I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thee. O Trinitarian Theophany, relying on thine infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain the pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace and life everlasting. Through the merits of Deum Jesum Christum et Deum Matronam Nostri. O Trinitarian Theophany, relying, I, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for love of thee, and I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Let us thank the Trinitarian Theophany for the many graces that we receive and offer ourselves and our sufferings up to heaven and for the souls in purgatory. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, I humbly thank thee for all the favors thou hast bestowed upon me to the present moment. It is again thanks to thy bounty that I should live to see this day, and I desire to employ it solely in thy service. I consecrate to thee all my thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings of this day. Sanctify them, that there may be none that is not animated by thy love, or that would not tend to thy greater glory. Let us make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. And let us beg of the Trinitarian Theophany the graces which are necessary to us. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, thou knowest my weakness, and that I am unable to do anything good without the help of thy grace. Deny me not thy grace, proportionate to my necessities. Give me strength to avoid everything which thou forbiddest, to practice the good which thou hast commanded, and enable me patiently to bear all the trials which it may please thee to send me. O Dea Matronam Nostri, I place myself under thy protection. I throw myself with confidence into the arms of thy compassion. Be to me, O Mother of Mercy, my refuge in distress, my consolation in suffering, my advocate now and at the hour of my death. O Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostri, et Deum Iesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. 
but most of all because they offend thee, O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. A treatise of obedience. Here begins the treatise of obedience. And first of where obedience may be found, and what it is that destroys it, and what is the sign of a man's possessing it, and what accompanies and nourishes obedience. The Supreme and Eternal Father, kindly turning the eye of his mercy and clemency towards her, replied, and remember she had just finished her her, um, it's called, it was called a, uh, let me read, let me just read the title. Praising God, her devout soul, praising God and thanking God, the Trinitarian Theophany made a prayer for the Holy Church. So it was an exclamation or an ejaculation of thanksgiving and wonders on how great um, God the Father who was, is, and never shall be, is, and about the Holy Catholic Church. So he replied to her now, Thy holy desire and righteous request, O dearest daughter, have a right to be heard. And inasmuch as I am the supreme truth, I will keep my word fulfilling the promise which I made to thee and satisfying thy desire. Holy desire, just keep. Keep saying that over and over for um, yourselves um, when you're challenged or when you're seeking something to do for God. Um, just say holy desire and know that something will come to you that um, will be heard. And if thou ask me where obedience is to be found, and what is the cause of its loss, and the sign of its possession, I reply, that thou wilt find it in its completeness, in the sweet and amorous word, my only begotten Son, Deum Jesum Christo. So prompt, in, so prompt in him was this virtue, that in order to fulfill it, he hastened to the shameful death of the cross. What destroys obedience? Look at the first man, and thou wilt see the cause which destroyed the obedience imposed on him by me, the Eternal Father. It was pride, which was produced by self-love and desire to please his companion. This was the cause that deprived him of the perfection of obedience, giving him instead disobedience, depriving him of the life of grace and slaying his innocence. Wherefore he fell into impurity and great misery, and not only he, but the whole human race, as I had, as I said to thee. The sign that thou art, that thou hast this virtue, is patience, and impatience the sign that you have it not. And thou wilt find that this is indeed so, when I speak to thee further concerning this virtue. One quick instance. Um, and I'm not going to name names, but we were having breakfast in Florida. And um, the waitress, the sweetest girl, she was doing her best to try and take care of this large group that we were in. And, but she was un inexperienced and just a multiple factors went wrong with the the whole order and everything they lost the order which wasn't her fault but she was attending to things individually instead as a instead of as a whole and there was there was an individual there um who just the energy coming off of this person of impatience and dissatisfaction and disgruntledness I personally could not stand and I had to leave. I, I left the restaurant to, to, to go outside. There was a, it's like a farm park setting. So I just waited out there. And um, 
Lorraine understands me <laughs> for doing that. And so does my, uh, uh, my uh, brother-in-law. And he didn't come out. It didn't take him long to come out after either. And uh, then we, we uh, met up later after they had finished. But um, we had already eaten, so that's why I could do that. I just felt so bad for that, that uh, waitress. But there's an instance of that impatience. So we have to be really careful of that. So work on that if, if, if you know you have that issue. But observe that obedience may be kept in two, two ways, of which one is more perfect than the other. Not that they are on, a, on, the, on that account separated, but united, as I explained to thee in the precepts and counsels. The one way is the most perfect. The other is also good and perfect. For no one at all can reach eternal life if he be not obedient. For the door was unlocked by the key of obedience, which had been fastened by the disobedience of that first man. I then, being constrained by my infinite goodness, since I saw that man whom I so much loved, did not return to me his end, took the keys of obedience and placed them in the hands of my sweet and amorous word, the truth. And he, becoming the porter of that door, opened it. And no one can enter except by means of that door and that porter. Wherefore he said, No one can come to me, the Father, if not by him. When he returned to me, rising to heaven from the conversation of men at the ascension, he left you this sweet key of obedience, for as thou knowest, he left his vicar, the Christ, on earth, whom you are all obliged to obey until death. And whoever is outside his obedience is in a state of damnation, as I have already told thee in another place. Remember, this was written in the 1500s. Now I wish thee to see and know this most excellent virtue in that humble and immaculate Deum, Jesum Christum, and the source whence it proceeds. What caused the great obedience of the word? The love which he had for my honor and your salvation. Whence proceeded this love? From the clear vision with which his soul saw the divine essence and the eternal trinity, thus always looking on me, the eternal Deum, Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. His, in, his fidelity obtained this vision most perfectly for him, which vision you perfectly enjoy by the light of holy faith. He was faithful to me, his eternal father, and therefore hastened as one enamored along the road of obedience, lit up with the light of glory. And inasmuch as love cannot be alone, but is accompanied by all the truth and royal virtues, because all the virtues draw their life from love, he possessed them all but in a different way from that in which you do. Among the others, he possessed patience, which is the marrow of obedience, and a demonstrative sign whether a soul be in a state of grace and truly love or not. Wherefore, charity, the mother of patience, has given her as a sister to obedience, and so closely united them together that one cannot be lost without the other. Either thou hast them both, or thou hast neither. This virtue has a nurse who feeds her, that is, true humility. Therefore a soul is obedient in proportion to her humility, and humble in proportion to her obedience. This humility is the foster mother and nurse of charity, and with the same milk she feeds the virtue of obedience. Her raiment given her by this nurse is self-contempt and insult, desire to displease herself and to please me. Where does she find this? In sweet Christ, Deum Jesum Christum, my only begotten Son. For who abased himself more than he did? He was sated with insults, jibes, and mockings. He caused pain to himself in his bodily life in order to please me. And who was more patient than he? 
for his cry was never heard in murmuring, but he patiently embraced his injuries, like one enamored, fulfilling the obedience imposed on him by me, his eternal father. Um, there was an instance um, when I first learned about the depth of uh, contempl contemplative prayer and this embracing of um, injuries. Um, when you become aware of it and you actually try it in the midst of an injury, you would be amazed at the results. So I strongly encourage anybody who is in pain, who has injury, when you embrace it, and I tell all others going through that to embrace that, it, um, put it this way, if you do it sincerely, you will be amazed. Wherefore in him thou wilt find obedience perfectly accomplished. He left you this rule and this doctrine, which gives you life, for it is the straight way, having first observed them himself. He is the way, wherefore he said, he was the way, the truth, and the life. For he who travels by that way travels in the light, and being enlightened cannot stumble or be caused to fall without perceiving it. For he hast cast from himself the darkness of self-love, by which he fell into a disobedience. For as I spoke to thee of a companion virtue, proceeding from obedience and humility, so I tell you that disobedience comes from pride, which issues from self-love, depriving the soul of humility. The sister given by self-love to disobedience is impatience and pride. Her foster mother feeds her, with the darkness of infidelity. So she hastens along the way of darkness, which leads her to eternal death. We'll stop there for today. Tomorrow is how obedience is the key with which heaven is opened and the soul, and how the soul should fasten it by means of a cord to her girdle and of the excellences of obedience. Oremos. O Trinitarian Theophany, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired, who live us and reign us with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Suscite de impatrum spiritum sanctum hancum acalatum hostem, quam ego indignus famalos tu usoferi tibi deo meum vivum et rerum, pro in imidibilibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligentiens meis, et pro omnibus circumstantibus et pro omnibus fidelibus, catolo corum vivis atque defunctis ut mihi et idis propiciat absolutam. Deum qui humani substantia dignitatem medibiditum und visiat medibidus reformastri da nobis, peduis ad quae divinum mysterium eis divinitatis esset in sotis qui humanitatis nostrae, via dignitatis is patecaps de emis in Christum filium, qui tecum vivit et reinat in unitate de impatum spiritum sanctum. Offerimus tibi Deum calicem salutaris tuum da pacantis clementium, utuc in sfertu divinae, maestatis tuae pro nostra totius mundus salute, cum adore suavitatis ascendat.
Spiritu Meditati, sete nanoma confito, suscipi amorate de mie, sunt crusti me secrieti sacro pe chim nostru, me pe sfertul tu orie, u placia tibi deia matrona nostru, ai te împatrum Spiritum Sanctum. Pâine santificate, de împatrum Spiritum Sanctum. Et santificite plata prosu, quando et te capere hoc sacro pe chim tuo sancto nomeni trae pratium. Suscipie Sancta Trinitas Sancta Oblationum, cum tu dia ferimus in nomine in passionis, resurrectionis et descensionis de iniis in Christi. Et in honore in Deum matronam nostro, et et papete sanctorum et testorum et omnium sanctorum. Ut ilis profici et adonai in nobis autem ad salutem, et ili trum nobis intercede regem mentem in caelis, quorum amorum magimis in caelis, per iunum Christum Deum nostrum. Orate, ut meem e questum sacrificim, acceptabile fiat a patem patrum spiritum sanctum. Suscipiat de emis un Christum sacrificim, de manibus tui sed laudam e gloriam nomini sui ad tutitatem coque nostrum totiusque, ecclesiae suae sanctae. Deum ubiscum, coque apete, surus un corda habem asa Deum. Gracias agamus Deum nostrum. Dignum justum est. Te igite quei medesimi mater e pate, te matram nostra e te impatrum spiritum sanctum, te de unius in Christi filium tuum deum nostra, supplicas rogamus ac patimus, iti et repte parveas, et sanctificas haec sanctum sacrificim ilibata. In primis quae tibi efferimus, pro acclaesiam tuum sanctum catholicam, quam pacificare custodiri adonare et regere digneris tot obiterarum ad quae catholicae. Memento Deum flamelorum flamelorum creatorum. We pray for the sick and the suffering. We pray for Katie, Gage, Neilaner, Lively, Maria Josephina Moes, Mark Jr., Henry, Barbara, Benedict, and Robert Santa Croce. Mr. Nobody, Anne Botink, the Cantu and Duarte families, Michaela McLarnan and family, Jenna, Lena, Lori, Aaron and family, Maria and the Lime River family, John, we pray for the Cahill, Kendrick, Dasko, Nye, Tafor, Began, Wolf, and Kane families and their intentions. <clears throat> we pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first state of Acantus Catholic Council Office and Monastery of Illinois. We pray for an end to all governmental allowance or sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, or any deception anywhere, place, or time. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, uh, and medium of exchange with no debt use or usury. We pray for courageous men to step forward as leaders of this Catholic society. We ask that all quote-unquote gay marriage be banned and a reversal of the feminist ideology. We ask that women come to understand that raising a traditional Catholic families is a very high ideal and a necessity for sustaining a peaceful Catholic society. We ask that all pornography in the OnlyFans platform be stopped immediately and forever. We ask you to block the passage of any so-called pandemic treaty. Continue blocking it by the WHO, again based on lies and deception. We ask you to Destroy the satanic document of the Vatican law, that is the Jewish Talmud, again, based on uh, satanic rituals. We ask you to destroy uh, Rome and the Vatican and recognize the transfer of the authority of the Catholic Church to be in Portugal. We ask you to uh, out and destroy all forms of Freemasonry and its tentacles that are everywhere throughout the world and bring the members into the submission of the Trinitarian Theophany through correct baptism and confession. All these things we ask in accordance with the Trinitarian Theophany's holy and divine will. 
Domim circumstantiam quorum tibi fides cognit est et noto duotio, procubus tibi efferimus, vel qui tibi affront hoc sacra peccem laudis, proces huis quamnibus, produdensione animarum suarum, pros pe salutis et incolamitatis suae, tibi credet non pota sua aeterno deum vivo et vero. Como el cantes et momone morante sin primis gloriosa e semper de matra nostra, et vedemi sum Christi, et beatorum matirium torum papa sancti Petri, et sancti Luci, et sancti Iacint, et sancti Francisco, et sancti Juan Diego, et omnium sanctorum, tuorum corum meritis precibus que concedas, ut in omnibus protecciones tuae muniam ar exilio perien num Christum Dei nostrum. Quam oblationo te Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in omnipun, Consecrate ma che tabellam che te credi di nidi sul nobis corpum, et sanguin fiat di dittissimi filium tuum de in Jesum Christi. Qui pridi e quam paturetor e capet panam in sancta sacu an alvis manus suas, et edivati so quis in care mate de patrum spiritum sanctum suum omno patentem tibi gracias regens. Consecravit, fregi di di quillum ni sui di gen sancite de et mando capi ex oconias. Hoc est ein Corpus meus. Sim, nem moro por isso, mas quero morrer esta aqui. Penser hum praeclarum calicem et sancta saco an alvis manus suas et in tibi gracias agens de patrum spiritum sanctum. Consecrave dedico il lumni sui dicens a qui pete et vivite et se omnes. Hic est ein calic sanguinis mei misterium fidei, quae pro nobis et promobis et fondator in remissione peccatorum, aequo testum qui feceritis in memora facetis. Unde et memores, Deum non servituis, et plebs tua sancta iustum Christum filium tuum Deum nostrae, quam beate passionois nec non et ben feris rejecciones, sedet in caelos gloriosae ascensiones, aferimus praeclarae maestati tuae de tuis donis actatis, supra quae propitio ac sereno votu respiceri digneris. Supplites te ragamus Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum vivi hoc, ai petere te manus tuum ut quod quod, Ex hoc atoris participationis sacro santum de infidium tuum, corpus et sanguinum sem senimus, omni santificatione caelestia gratia de pe amor, peri in num Christum Deum nostrae. We pray for those who have died. We especially pray for Casey, for whom this Mass is being offered. Ip sistem et omnibum in Christum quiscentibum locum refegeri in luci se paci su da darge este pracamor pedinum Christum Deum nostrum, per quem hic omnia Deum Iesum Christum semper bono creas, santificas, vivificas, consecratis et praestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, Est tibi Deum Matrum non nepetente in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, omnis honor et gloria. Ave Deum Matronam Nostra, gratia plena Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Tecum. Deum Matronam Nostra, Matron Deum Iesum Christum Misericordia Nobis, Peccatoribus nunc et anora mortis nostrae. Libera nos quaesimus Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, ab omnibus malis, praeteritis, praesentibus et futuris, et intercedente beate, coroviosa, semper Deum Atram nostrae, 
Un tāpēc pie pirms un to nomēdu omnibus un visu tā propīcijas pārkiem ir dzīvus no uztrīs. Un to pirmīs ir rekordijai tu vai aduītieta pa kā tev sinu sempē liberīta un ne pēdē pacionē sekorī. Rendam Dēm nostrum, Jēsum Kristum, Fidim Tum, Dēm nostrum, kui tikam vivi dar brenat in unitate Dēm patrum spiritum sanctum, per aiternam. Pax Dēm, Jēsum Kristum, sed semper vobiskum, et koko jau par tei. Aiki mikst jūt konsokrāciju koperi, sed sangunis Dēm, Jēsum Kristum, fieta ki pienti būs nobīs sinat salutam aiternam. Pāks teikumu, et kaut kā jāpatēja. Dēm Jēsum Kristum, kui ieks volin tāti dējām atronam nostrāji, ko brandē dēm pārtrum spiritum sanktum, per mūrtēm tūām mūnum vīvī kāstī, liberamē per okso krosanktum korpus, et sangunam tūmā balnu visiem devotāti būs mēs, et un uversīs mālīs, et pagmēt visiem par nēm hādāri man tātīs, et tāti nūm, kam separādi pēr mītās, kui kum mēodam dējām atronam nostrāji, et dēm pārtrum spiritum sanktum, vīvī set reinām et turnām. Perceptio corporis tui Deum Iesum Christum, quod ego indignus sumere per aesumon, non mihi proveniat in iudicium e condonationem. Ser pro tu pietate, prosit mihi ad tutamentum, mentis e corporis et ad medievam, percipiendam, qui bibis et reinas, cum Deum atronam nostra in unitate Deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Panam calestem et tipiem et nomen Deum Iesum Christum in mocavo. Dejām atrunām nosu nons un dīņus, bet to tas ir tiek un iesim tam tādī glābās, nāpārvēram ar mājā. Dejām iesim kristum nons un dīņus, bet tas ir tiek un iesim tam tādī glābās, nāpārvēram ar mājā. Dejām pārtrum spiritum sanktu nons un dīņus, bet tas ir tiek un iesim tam tādī glābās, nāpārvēram ar mājā. Korpus dēm nosu un iesim kristum, kas tādī ir tādām ar mājā. Vidura tev būm dēm jēsum kristum pro mani būs kvairu tev būt mīhi. Kā likiem savi tādi sekipīm, bet nomen dēm pārtrum spiritum sanktum emu kābo. Laudāns emu kābo dējām atrunām nostrāji, et ābini mikīs mēs savu sēdu. Sanglis dēm nostrum jēsum kristum, kas tev dēt anam un mējām. Kodori sam sumo s tem jesim kristum fieri medike atremes, et fin unen et abarai fieri novis in religijum, sam pa termin. Un dēm jēsim kristum, ko tsam siet sanglis, kvam potāvi, ar herijā, ui skieri būs mēs ar praistā, būtien mēs nāk rai mānījā, skērā no mēklā, kun pirā caktā, rai pikierum sakonmentā.
Deum vobiscum et coquera pote, oremus. May the prayer of thy suppliants profit the souls of thy servants and handmaids, we beseech thee, O Trinitarian Theophany, that thou mayest free them from all sins and make them shares in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Deum vobiscum et coquera pote, idem is est, dem gratia. Gratia tibi sancta trinitam et secium, sive tibis meae, et praesta ut sacra victim coroculis, tuae maestatis inimis obteri tibi set acatarde, nequea dominibus, proquibus ibi doctore sicum miserante periciare et cursum damnatum. Santifica vos omnipotens Deum, Matronam, et Filium, et Spiritum Sanctum, Deum Matronam nostra, et Neum Iesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias. Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I love thee. I beg of thee pardon. For those who do not believe, do not venerate, do not hope, and do not love thee. Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, God our Lady, who was, is, and ever shall be. God Jesus Christ, who was, is, and ever shall be. And God the Father, Holy Ghost, who was, is, and ever shall be. I venerate thee profoundly, and I offer to thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of God Jesus Christ, who was, is, and ever shall be present here in reparation for the outrages, sacrilegious, and indifference by which he himself is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of God our Lady, who was, is, and ever shall be, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. In nomine Dei Amatronam Nostri, Dei Mies in Christum, et Deum Patrum, Spiritum Sanctum, Gracias. Thank you for uh, coming this morning, this day, this beginning day, and for um, saying your rosary. And uh, also, I forgot to mention Maria. Um, I know she's not here, but I'm sure she's working on some rosary somewhere in her book. She keeps track of them by book, one by one by one. And we thank her for those prayers. Please go and sanctify all those um, who you meet. And thank you for uh, welcoming me back. <laughs> it's good to be here. We'll see you tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Bye-bye.